Higher Dimensional Mind. Hope you're all fantastic and I hope you're ready to ascend. I have been given numerous downloads over the past few days that my guides are saying, get your shoes on and get ready to go up that ascension ladder. Many things are happening around you that might seem out of sorts. You might be feeling a little bit crazy that your, he your head isn't working the way it was before. You're seeing reality through a completely different set of eyes. You're feeling the strange feeling of unreality. You may be seeing shadows, lights, feeling the sense of not being alone. You may be feeling that something just isn't right and you can't put your finger on what is going on. You may feel that your heart is racing. You may feel that you are picking up on energies that you never picked up on before. You're developing psychic senses. You're having many, many deja vus. You're seeing numbers appearing, double numbers, double digits, 2222, 1111. Every time you look at the clock, you see another set of digits that are synchronistic with your day or that are double numbers. This is because my guides have told me the time is here now. I went through an ascension in 2010. I went through nine hours of vibrating. And I don't just mean I was feeling a buzz. I mean vibrating my eyeballs, my teeth, my tongue, my heart. By the end of it, I felt like I had a ping pong ball bouncing around inside my body. Now, I know that was artificially enhanced, but my guides, who, as you know, are the lion people, told me that I was to go through it at that point and numerous other people were to go through it. So when the time came when humanity would start to rise up their consciousness, they would have somewhere to go to for guidance. It's a difficult journey. You might feel like you are going mad. There really is an energy that is raising your vibration and things just don't seem real. How I've been feeling is that no matter what is going on around me, in the news, with society, I felt like everything is just as it's supposed to be. I felt a feeling of I am just trusting the universe with this journey and I am not putting any feelings or fears or ideas for the future. I am just living in this moment and enjoying the show. We really are, each of us, living in our own story. We are a, not, we are a book and this book is a page turner. They were trying to speak through me there, I'm sorry. <laughs> when they try and speak through me, they get in my throat. My guys are saying, buckle up because you need to be clear, happy and feeling like this time is the best time of your life. That's difficult to do when you watch the mainstream news. They get that. But if you trust in your intuitive feelings that now is the time we rise up consciously, you can't be bringing that with you. You have to be in your heart centre, feeling like this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the best time of your life, in your inner world, inside yourself. This is the best time. If you try and hold on, you will feel anxiety, you'll feel it in your sick, you'll feel it as a sickness in your solar plexus. Now, also, you might want to check yourself into a, into a hospital because your mind just doesn't seem right. You may be not able to focus on the moment. If you're in a situation that isn't serving you, you will just go blank. You will just, you will just probably wander away from it. You won't want to stay in that place because it does not serve you. The energies can get so high that when you go into a public space, you might not be able to cope. The energies will be engulfing you. Your antenna will be 
so sensitive that you will most probably pick up on everybody's energy in the place, good or bad. It will be overwhelming and you will want to run away. It's okay to run away. It's okay to take yourself out of it, go hug a tree, ground yourself and come back. Sometimes you have to put headphones in with some very calming music. And separate yourself from what's going on around you. Be in your heart centre, in your happy little bubble, whilst you walk among people. Because you're going to be picking up on everything. But you must try and stay in the heart, in the happiness and in the positivity. It's really important right now. And this is why they're blocking my throat. Because they want me to talk about this instead. I had a visit from the lion people two nights ago. I had to let it digest first before I could make a video on it. And they asked me, first and foremost, what do you see? And I knew what they meant. And I opened my third eye and I looked about. And I saw lots of hunched over black entities creeping about. I described it to them as, it's like thieves in the night. I see people hunched over, creeping about gardens, crawling, coming out of houses. And I feel like they're not hunched over and hiding, they're hunched over, that's how they look. They're stealing energy. They're going around like thieves in the night, taking people's energy, feeding them thoughts, listening, more listening to what is going on. They feel the threat now. They feel their time is up. They've been feeding off us for such a long time. And it stops now. They took me to a, what I would call a hell dimension a couple of nights ago. And in it I saw, as usual, People stuck, trapped in their own minds, reliving horrors over and over again. And I've done this job many times, gone in and awoken them from the spell that they're in and pulled them out. We put ourselves there because of our fears. But in this instance, I was watching a small cage, like a picket fence, where there was a being inside there. And this being was released. He was bright blue. He looked like a sumo wrestler. A body style. But he had a long tentacle coming from his third eye. He skipped his way through people. And I said, Oh, there's a Dujon! I knew exactly what his name was. I think it was the Dujon. There's only one. I was very clear with the name, Dujon. He skipped past me, stopped, looked into my eyes and the tentacle touched my third eye. He was sensing why I wasn't scared. I seemed really happy to have had the opportunity to see this creature one on one. He then tickled my back. Now, I thought he was tickling my liver, and it was really sore. It took my breath away. It was a horrible pain. It made me sick, and I was like, oh, as it was happening. Tried to breathe through it. As he went to walk away, I turned and looked at him and said, I'm not scared of you. So he came back and did it again. Now, I asked my guides, the lions, why was he touching my liver? And they said, Serafina, he's not touching your liver. That was your adrenal glands. He's harvesting adrenochrome. He's not, f he, he goes around the hell zones, feeding on the fear of those who are trapped in there so they can never raise their vibration. Constantly living in fear and they will harvest this fear energy. They t he was trying to uh, go straight for your adrenal glands to harvest the fear energy, the adrenochrome. Which is why you instinctively said to him, I am not scared of you.
because there was no fear energy to take. They said this is very important. This entity, the Dujon, is the one behind stealing the energy of humanity. And if we can rid this entity from our dimension once and for all by refusing to go into fear, then we will have enlightenment upon us. Are you ready to take that on? If you think of the name and picture the blue sumo wrestler type guy with the tentacle from his forehead, I know there's going to be jokes about that, block him send him love instead let's send a tsunami of loving energy his way because that is a toxic vibration for these entities they do not bode well with happiness and love which is why they try and steal yours send a wave of happy energy and love and forgiveness that he's had his time but it's finished now we the Wayshores are taking back our reality and our world and their time has ended. I did tarot card readings a few weeks ago and every single reading said the collapse, the fight between the feminine divine and the masculine entity. I wasn't getting masculine against feminine. I'm talking about the true divine feminine energy, the mother earth energy that is nurturing, loving and cleanses humanity of fear. It is holding you in and holding you away from your fears. The masculine energy is that of the hierarchical, tyrannical masters that have been taking over here for so long. The Dujon being the top of this pyramid. Now it's time I got the time card for that to end. I got the card saying that it would all fall like a house of cards. It's time. Dimensions are fracturing. We are walking amongst them now. But we are also walking amongst our guides. The Lions, the Pleiadians, the Andromedans. They are now on our level. If you open your eyes and your heart, you will feel them. Psychically, you will see them. They are here to guide you and work with you through this energy. But this is, this is most importantly, this is up to us to do now. This is our own individual journey and a journey as a collective to form our tribes and rise up through the darkness into this light energy, into this new reality. The final card I got on, the, on all those readings was the Ten of Cups which means celebration, communities, happy parties, having the time of your life. We're going into such a fantastic place that you will only feel love in this place. And we have to bring as many of our comrades with us as we can by just beaming out the highest frequency you can possibly imagine by living in your heart space. Can you do that? Because we can tip the balance now. Reality has fractured. I've been waiting years on this moment. All the videos I made on how to feel your energy field, or the ascension story that I went through was all to prepare whoever was watching for this time now. There is going to be some turbulence, some, the, I see the boat rocking now. There is going to be rocky times where you will be tested where you might think, oh, this is not going to happen. It is going to happen. Keep your feet on the ground because reality is going to start spinning you all over the place. You're going to feel really out of sorts. My guide's asking me to say something here. I need to tune on what he's telling me. The rise in consciousness is a collective. No man is left behind. Okay. The wave of people who are rising up will pull those with them who aren't able to do the work themselves. Well, that's very good. That's very good news. There's such a wild energy rising up 
that people will be caught up in it and lifted also. The veil will be removed from the eyes of humanity. The truth will be seen. That is the apocalypse, the great revealing. And people won't go into a fear zone when this happens because they'll have their consciousness raised. They'll understand it. Duality is disappearing. It's melting away. And the singularity is starting to become all around us. We're moving into a singularity. Don't mistake me for thinking that means a hive mind. A singularity means we're all in one love, united in our energy. It's a very positive thing. We do not need duality. There doesn't need to be a dark and a light. You don't need to have dark to appreciate the light. You can appreciate light by being in the light. I hope this message reaches you well. I hope you feel what I'm explaining to you. I hope you're ready to take on the Dujon and end this fight once and for all. Every time I say the name, I feel an entity appear by my side. Looking at me. Sorry, I've got a bit of itchy dose. After that dream where he put the tentacle in my third eye. The next again day I was so very ill. I couldn't open my eyes for about four hours. I was so I was really looking forward to having a lovely Saturday with my family. And I couldn't even open my eyes. It was so painful. It felt like an energy moving around in my head. I had to take some Celtic salt and that really helped, the magnesium and it really helped me. But I had to ground myself in nature and ask for Jesus to come and assist me and help me cleanse this energy. And when I when I say Jesus, I do believe there's a being who goes by a name that we know as Jesus. He goes by many names. But he's been appearing to me time and time again over the years. And his father, who also appears, and many of you may have met him. Many of me may have seen him. At one point there was videos of his face going across the sky in a cloud. I saw that. I saw that and I looked up and I saw this cloud form the perfect face of a man. With, and instantly I said, that's the face of God. And he was showing us back then in 2012, I'm watching, I'm here, we're coming to help you, assist you, but you have to lift yourself up to us. Come up to us. Many of you all see him in your dreams wearing white robes and a gold belt, a long white hair. Whoever he may be, he is the creator of this simulation and he's helping us reach the higher levels of this simulation. And his son, if you see him as Jesus, whatever name you choose to go by, he has, the love that pours out of this, this man is unlike anything you can experience. He is the same being that Nainania has been communing with for all these years also. When I asked... My guides in about 2011, 2012, this girl is getting the same information as me. She's talking about a man and describing the same situations as me. And Are we both being guided by the same man? Are we both being guided by Jesus? If it's true, please make her say my name. In her very next video, she said, I'm being told to say a name, something like Seraphim or... There we go. Yes, okay. So... This is not just an illusion. This is not just a fairy tale that's been fed by demonic energies. This is happening. This is real. We have to still keep ourselves grounded. But I don't feel the mind germs are going to be a problem anymore. They were a problem for a long time. Feeding people information that was negative, that was benefiting them. I believe for a long time the ascension was benefiting only the negatives. And they are using it. They are using this ascension time as a way to elevate themselves out of their hell zone. They do not want to be there anymore. They are using a, late, a, a medical a medical interaction with the body in order to create a, a, a... I'm forgetting words now. Maybe they don't want me talking about this because it's not a positive message at the moment. But it's not going to work. And even if... Even if it was to work, every being has the right to ascend out of where they are if they if they're ascending in the right energy with love and with want of a better world for everybody. 
And these brave, brave people who are taking part in this experiment in order to open the door for people to see what's happening, in order to show who we've been up against all these years, I give them a, I give them my gratitude for the bravery they have. They, they have chose at a soul level to be part of this and what they're doing is very brave because they are come they have come here to show us clearly the mistakes humanity's made and who has been I'm not allowed to say this. I'll have to cut this out. So get out your crystals, give them a clean, or go and hug a tree. Stay away from frequencies that will bring you down, but when it's too much, hold a tourmaline and hold it close to your solar plexus and let it calm your energies and just breathe. Breathe the energy in, breathe your worries out. There should be no worries now. Do not think you're crazy. This is exactly as it is intended and it will feel like you're on some crazy drug but that's just because your consciousness is rising and you're sensing different energies and different frequencies that you haven't before and this reality is melting away and we're opening up to one great big singularity where we're all galactic unity together as one Namaste Enjoy the ride now is These dark entities when they're looming about your house they may come into your room at whatever time during the night or they may stand behind you when you're making a cup of tea and you feel suddenly the presence of a dark evil. They cannot do anything to you. All they can do is make you feel like there's a very evil presence next to you. I can guarantee you there's nothing they can do to you that can harm you. It's only because they're so desperate, they're starving for energy, that they're now creeping about in people's homes, in their gardens, to try and feed as much as they can. They're really hungry. They know their time is up. They know it's up. They're now going door to door, begging. And you will feel like the devil himself is standing behind you or next to you. And it is really difficult to, to not feel fear, okay? I've done it for years and still I'm like, come on, you know. Because I know it's not my fear. It's it's heat lamped onto you. It's a heat lamp. They direct an energy. You're just picking up on the energy they're sending you. You are not actually feeling fear. So don't start feeling. Don't join in. Don't join in their game. I've asked them to fight me on many occasions. I've punched them. Nothing. If they were so powerful and I'm asking them for a fight, I'm punching them. I'm telling them to F off whatever, you think they would have retaliated. Never once in all my life. Never. One time I had a CD thrown at me, okay? But I was sitting down in a computer chair and my son was to the side, he witnessed it. The CD started spinning, came towards me, but as it hit my energy field, it did this down and round me. It can't touch. It can't touch you. Anything they even throw goes around you, you've got a, your field stops it. Because they're moving it and they can't break through your barriers. So no fear, you're completely safe. Sometimes it helps to start singing a really nice song. Or thinking of really happy memories. And just think of it's only going to be 10 seconds until it's gone. Even if you just close your eyes and think of something really great that happened. Or start looking at your phone and really concentrate on what you're reading. It will go. And it won't come back because it's been it's not going to come back it didn't feed off you so it's not going to come back on the off chance it does because it's an idiot just do the same again don't feed them you're safe they can't hurt you all they have is a weapon to infuse fear onto you in order for you to feel it and burst your own real fear out back at them don't give it smile <laughs>